onboarding process basically became that I needed to meet with various people at the company and, and just, you know, get the green light from everyone to make sure that I'm the kind of person that they want to work with and that I know uh, what I'm actually signing up for. And, you know, everyone was just make sure that it's a good fit. I was hired to be a tech lead at the company, which, you know, is just a more senior position with more responsibilities. The timing was kind of like perfect in the sense that we still had to finish uh, the gig that I originally started working on. We had to ship the website project and that just got shipped like a few weeks ago. And from then on, we barely in the last week have started me transitioning into the tech, re- tech lead role. The so. processes at Lapster are in a good shape, even though they're growing crazy fast. It doesn't feel like that because they, they, they put the effort into like trying to get the processes up to speed about how the company is changing. And uh, it just felt, I just felt at ease that things are like fat organized and there's people to reach out to and things get handled. And it was just, it was just all good. And I really enjoyed that work environment. And I was kind of like, you know what? I would actually love to work on this for a longer time. I was already thinking like, I wish they would extend our contracts and, or, you know, like we could just work more on this in, in, in some way. Uh, I'm, I'm actually kind of like an exception to the rule as in I've been a remote worker for like, uh, for, for like forever now. Uh, let, let me do a quick math. It's something like, uh, 14 years now mm. or something with you know just a tiny bit of periods where it's like i've been i've been going to an office for two years or something but mm. that was it for the rest I've, I've been working remotely since forever it's before the term for you know digital nomad was coined i, mm. I was a digital nomad before the term existed mm. i was living in panama on a private island and working from there for it's like something like 13 years ago or more, but I'm not going to do the math on that. Time zone differences between the continents is like, it's harder to work for a US company when you're in Europe. It's close to impossible if you're in Asia and you know, like you can switch the continents and the hemispheres all you want, but it's like time zone is going to be an issue uh, if it's a smaller company. But if it's a big one that's growing as Lapster is growing, that they have multiple people working from them, in Asia and in the US and in Europe and they're opening up offices all over the place. Then it's like time zones are not an issue. Being remote is not an issue. I was offered that I could, you know, just switch countries uh, and, you know, work from the office or I can stay, uh, stay at my home and just keep working for them. Like uh, what, what we agreed on is that I'm very happy to hop on a plane and just, you know, meet up in person every now and then. And, and that's it. And if you really want to, you know, become an employee, it's like, uh, I mean, honestly, this is how I did it. I, 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 I did it through rollout ID. And, uh, and it's actually a very different thing that like, you know, not all of the agencies will give you this option to do it. So it's like, that's, that's actually uncommon. And that's actually special to roll out the IT that they even consider letting you go because it's like, uh, you're like, man, I, re- I would really love to work for this company as an employee. And, and, you know, they, they just make, they're, they're completely open to this roll out. IT is completely open to this. And, and they're like, okay, let's, let's start a conversation around that. What I can definitely say is that Lapster pays well and uh, I'm very happy with my compensation and uh, it's above market rate and it's above market rate uh, considering if you just scope it down to Hungary, what I've seen, uh, this is very, very, comp- this is a very, very competitive salary that mm-hmm. they're offering and they also have benefits. It's like, and you know, do you just stuff like, uh, uh, unlimited paid time off and things like that, but mm. I'm 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 not I'm not an HR person. Mm. Someone else could say this better, but it's like very good benefits, very very competitive salary, and I get I get the stability that I was looking for lately. So it's a great fit for me.